Today on Horseland, a new horse and rider, Sunburst and Nani, could be a valuable addition to the Horseland team. The new girl really knows riding. Unless Zoe and Pepper's rudeness drive the pair away. Well, your language sounds funny. Why do horses smell? Because they have noses? No, really. Because all horses just smell. Hey, do not. That fragrance Teeny smelling is Aztec's hoof salve. Angora, how can you say all horses smell? It's just not true. In fact, it's what we call a stereotype. What's a stereotype, Shep? Stereotypes are ideas about members of a group other than your own, which you apply to all members of that group, rather than evaluating them as individuals. Oh. For example, just because you're a pig doesn't mean everything I've heard about pigs is going to be true about you. That doesn't make sense. If it looks like a pig and walks like a pig and oinks like a pig, then it's going to act like a pig. And just how do pigs act, Angora? They eat everything in sight, and they're always dirty. Teeny isn't a glutton or a slob. Well, all right. Teeny is different. That's the problem with stereotyping. Individuals are different. For example, it's a stereotype that all cats are sweet and friendly. But I know one cat who has... She's late. Maybe the traffic was bad. It's always bad. About time you showed up. The new girl will be arriving any second now. Her name is Noni Cloud. What kind of a name is that? I think it's American Indian. Oh, please, not another princess. Two are enough. What do you mean? You know, like Pocahontas. If you ask me, two princesses are too, too many. I heard the new horse is a paint. They're beautiful. Good thing our owners love us for who we are. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Good one, Pepper. All I can say about this new horse, it better not be arrogant. Or high maintenance. You mean like you two? <laughs> Good one, Aztec. You can laugh all you want, but you know what they say about paints. What's that? No discipline, no attention to detail, no... Come on, Pepper. That's just stereotyping. You know very well there's been a lot of paints who are highly disciplined jumping champions. So? I hear paints are really high strung. I hear they're cold and standoffish, too. What if the newbie tries to take over the stable? I say we let this newbie know who's boss, A-S-A-P. Well, I say we wait and see. Lose the truck, keep the trailer. You're so right. A piece of junk like that shouldn't be allowed on the road, let alone at a classy place like Horseland. Shows what you know, that truck's a classic. And that means classy in my book. I'm Bailey. Welcome to Horseland. Thank you. I'm Nani. Really, really great to meet you, Nani. <gasps> wow. This is Sunburst. Look at those markings. Oh, he's so beautiful. After we put Sunburst in the stable, I'll introduce you around. Everyone's here except Will. He's at a rodeo. And Molly, she's on a field trip with her school. Sunburst, why don't you get acquainted while I meet the girls? Where are you from? Are you a fast runner? What do you like best, jumping or dressage? Whoa, one at a time. 
Is it true your home's on the range where the gophers and the wild turkeys play? <laughs> Say what? Cool it, Pepper. Don't listen to Chili. You go, Pepper. <laughs> You're no fun. No, Pepper. My home was not on the range where the gophers and the wild turkeys play. I grew up on a ranch, and then I lived in a very nice stable. Not quite as nice as Horseland, of course. That's nice of you to say. I'm Scarlet, and this is Button, and this is Calypso, and this is Aztec. Hi, Sunburst. What's your owner like? Nani's wonderful. Very calm and patient. She never gets mad at me. Do you like dressage or jumping? I like everything, even Western. Gee, is there anything you don't like? Saddles. I am not fond of saddles. Zoe, Chloe, aren't you going to help set up? Sorry, second coat isn't dry yet. Thanks for helping us set up. We have a cross country show next week and we really need the practice. Is it okay if I practice with you? Sure. Hey, everybody, Nani is going to practice with us. Good. Cool. If I'm good enough, do you think I could be part of your team? Yes. No. After we practice for a while, we always have a mini competition to see who will be the team leader. Okay, sounds good. But heads up, Zoe's had the job since she started at Horseland. Wow, Zoe, that's great. I'm really impressed. By the way, there's something I should mention. What? I ride bareback. <gasps> that's awfully dangerous. But I know what I'm doing. I've been riding bareback since I was six. I always wear a helmet, too. I feel freer that way. Sunburst likes it, too. He's worn saddles before. He just doesn't like them. Indians always ride bareback. It's not fair to the rest of us. Oh, stuff it, Zoe. Why do they call you Indians anyway? I mean, Indians live in India. Shouldn't they call your people something else? They do. Native Americans. Whatever. Are we going to get ready for practice or not? Let's do it! Great, let's finish getting these jumps set up. Oh, I wish we could help, but our nails aren't dry yet. Oh, brother. You know you'll have to use a saddle to be part of the team competition, right? No problem. Sunburst will adjust. I hate having that big strap tied around my body. Better get used to it. Everyone wears a saddle around here. To each his own. Saddles just aren't my thing. What a big baby. Do you hate wearing horseshoes, too? Don't pay any attention to her, Sunburst. Pepper got up on the wrong side of the stall this morning. Just like she has every single morning since the day she got here. It's nice around here. Reminds me of my uncle's ranch. Don't get me wrong, I love the city, but I sure miss open spaces. Do your people still live in teepees? Seems like they get kind of cold in the winter. Sorry to disillusion you, but my ancestors lived in log houses with thatched roofs, not teepees. Now we live in modern houses with internet connections and cable TV. We even have something called plumbing. That's pretty. Did you make it? This was made by a famous Zuni artist, but I'm not Zuni. I'm a citizen of the Cherokee Nation. Cherokee Nation? I thought you were part of this country. Yes and no. The Cherokees have a nation within a nation, with its own government, its own laws, and its own language. Uh, say something in Cherokee. Uwodehi agehusta. Well, your language sounds funny. What's the use of speaking a language no one else can understand anyway? And exactly how many languages do you speak, Zoe? Uh, one. So what? Don't you know being multilingual is valuable? That's why I'm learning Spanish and French. Vous êtes très jolie, Zoe. What did you say? I told Zoe that she is very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people talk behind my back. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Wait, come back. What about our cross-country practice? I'm taking a nice long break. You and the newbie will get along just fine without me. Good luck in the competition. Zoe's our best cross-country eventer. We can't let her drop out. Zoe, all the other kids have gotten their horses and tacked up. Where could she be? The newbies drove Zoe away. Ugh. How dare they? That's not what happened, Angora. Zoe was rude to Nani. Oh, really? 
I suppose calling Zoe some strange name and laughing at her behind her back wasn't rude? <gasps> That's not rude. It's mean. But it wasn't like that. Now I'm really mad. Nice riding pants, Nani. Thanks. I just got them. I guess I thought you'd be wearing buckskins and moccasins. Pretty silly, huh? Yeah, because it's a stereotype. Nani is Native American, so you expected her to dress a certain way. Sorry about that, Nani. I hope I didn't come off like Zoe. Not at all. Believe me, no one comes off like Zoe. Not even Chloe. Thanks. I think. Maybe I should try to talk Zoe into practicing with us. It's just not the same without her. I'll go with you. We'll all go. Don't bother. When Zoe gets in a snit, no one can get her out of it except Zoe herself. I've seen it. I'd have to agree. Will you talk to her later, Chloe? Sure, but it probably won't do much. Thanks. Okay, practice time. Show us your stuff, Nani. Hmm, the newbie's not bad. She rides better without a saddle than I do with. She's good. Almost as good as Zoe. She's not as good as me, though. Chili, why'd you back down? Chloe, I think I know what the problem is. Tell me. You're not holding your elbows tight enough to your sides, which makes it harder to keep control of your horse. And you need to keep your heels down in the stirrups. Try it again. Thanks, Nani. She knows what she's talking about. Hey, Zoe, the new girl really knows riding. What do you expect? Indians grow up riding horses. All of them? You know what I mean. Every time you see a picture of an Indian, they're riding a horse. That's why she's so good. And now she's trying to take my place on the team. No, she's not. She's just trying to do her best. Isn't this sport all about competing and being good at what you do? If I were skilled enough, I'd be team captain, not you. At least you're one of us. If you're really serious about sitting this one out, the team will be okay. Nani's definitely good enough to fill in for you. Oh, all right. Let's go. Nani, you are really good. Don't tell me it just came naturally. <laughs> no, I had to work just as hard as anybody. I was lucky that where I rode before, cross-country meant riding across actual countryside. Warthogs go for holes and all. What's the big diff? After all, a jump is a jump, right? Wrong. In the arena, you're going round and round on a series of the same old jumps that try to emulate the real thing. No surprises, no excitement, and no fun. But the show we're entering next week is an indoor cross-country course, a lot like this one. Can't you see the irony of an indoor cross-country course? What an oxymoron! <laughs> Excuse me, what was that comment about me? If the boot fits... Hello, I always go first. How'd you get her to come out? I told her Nani could fill in for her. She didn't like that. She may be a pain in the tail section, but she is really good. See, it's her best event. Hey, Zoe, you're a good competitor. Nothing wrong with that. I like to compete, too. Maybe we should find out who does it best. How about a real cross-country race? Winner leads the team. Hmm. Why not? Sounds like fun. Can I ride bareback? Nope. You have to wear a saddle like the rest of us. Oh, okay. But I'll need to walk the course first. Cross country's dangerous. If either of you fall, you or your horse could get hurt. Zoe, maybe we should just use the jumps we've already got set up in the arena. Your choice. Then a real cross country race it is. This time tomorrow, don't be late. Pepper and I know that course by heart. No matter how many times you walk it, Corinne says, you'll never know it better than we do. Now this is a three mile course with 24 obstacles, but you two are doing the mini course I showed Nani yesterday. Half a mile with five obstacles. Ready? Ready. Remember, two riders are not allowed to jump the same obstacle at the same time. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Good luck, Zoe. 
May the best rider win. Are you trying to psych me out? Whatever it is you're doing, it won't work. On your mark, get set, go! Catch me if you can. What does Zoe think she's doing? She's pushing Pepper way too hard. You're supposed to start slow and save your speed for the finish. She's coming up on the log fence. Zoe's way ahead of her personal best. That's gotta be hard on Pepper. I don't know if Pepper can take it. What's Chloe mean, Chef? She means Zoe is pushing Peppa way too hard. Why? Don't be so thick, Teeny. She has to beat the newbie or she won't be team leader anymore. Stonewall coming up. Hee ya, Pepper. Go, boy. Zoe's still running way ahead. How long can she keep this up? Nani's staying back. Smart. Here they come. Looks like Zoe's slowing down. And Nani's catching up. They're into the straightaway. Better watch out, sis. She's catching up. Yeehaw, Pepper, yeehaw! Whoa, Zoe's really losing it. I think Pepper's getting tired. Nani's going to catch her for sure. And you know what's coming up? The, the coffin. coffin. Why do they call it a coffin anyway? Maybe because the ditch looks just the right size to put a coffin in? That's creepy. Here comes Zoe. She's galloping. She knows she's supposed to canter. Are you okay? How's Pepper? Somehow, I'm okay. But I'm worried about Pepper. She's okay. Go, Pep. The race isn't over yet. I can't believe my own sister would do that. We can. Zoe ran a great race. I messed up and you know it. Oh, come on, Zoe. Sure, you lost on points because of your fault at the coffin, but your time was still really good despite that. Bottom line, I lost, and I broke a nail, too. Wait, I enjoyed competing with you, but Zoe, I don't want to be the team captain. Being team leader is a job for someone with experience who knows the course, the competition, and all the capabilities of the team. That's not me, that's you. What kind of girl are you? You're not at all what I expected. I'm a Horseland kind of girl, just like you. Horseland! Go! What's up, Pep? Thought you were fearless. Not my fault. If that newbie hadn't been stomping on my back hooves, I would have been just fine. Please, I was three lengths behind you up until the end. Pepper, are you sure Zoe didn't have something to do with it? Like pushing you a little too hard? No, it wasn't her fault. Pepper, I really admire your loyalty. Lots of horses would blame their owners, but you stand up for her. That's really great. You think? What's the big deal about a couple of horses sidestepping together anyway? It's called teamwork. Something you wouldn't know much about, I'm afraid. If Zoe stays civilized, Horseland could have a good shot at winning the next pairs competition. The Horseland team sweeping the cross-country competition really helped her accept Nani, especially since Zoe was the high scorer. They work well together. Just what we needed, another mutual admiration society. 
Would you like to form a mutual admiration society with me, Angora? Not on your life. The only person I'd form a mutual admiration society with is myself. Why can't Angora be nice, like other cats I've met? She definitely breaks the typical nice cat stereotype. Anyway, we've learned that any stereotyping is wrong. Angora is an individual teeny, and a feisty one at that. <laughs> <laughs>